In cataract surgery, the moment of implantation is crucial. For complete confidence, you need a delivery system built with your needs in mind. Presenting the UltraCert Preloaded Delivery System from Alcon. This innovative, single-use device is designed for simple, smooth, consistent implantation of the Acrosoft IQ Intraocular Lens. The UltraCert Delivery System is ready to use in three simple steps marked by blue action indicators. First, fill the front chamber with a qualified viscoelastic to the fill two line. This is the only approved fill method. Second, remove the lens stop and plunger lock. Finally, take at least seven seconds to gently fold the lens by advancing the plunger forward in one smooth, continuous motion until the front edge of the optic is even with the fill two line. It is important to not advance the plunger abruptly as improper folding and lens damage may occur. At this point, check the plunger position under the microscope. Note the plunger tip is in contact with the trailing optic edge to ensure that the trailing haptic is folded in one of the normal orientations. Since a portion of the trailing haptic is always behind the optic and to the left of the plunger, the plunger is pushed slightly to the right. All of this is normal. There is clearance on the left upper portion of the plunger to allow room for the folded haptic. Once the correct position of the plunger is confirmed, inspect both the leading and trailing haptics per the package insert. Depending on the temperature and the rate of plunger advancement, the haptics may take on various normal configurations. The range of normal haptic configurations and the only known do not proceed configuration is displayed in the package insert. The do not proceed configuration occurs when the trailing haptic extends straight down from the optic. Since this trailing haptic is trapped, the IOL cannot be fully delivered, so implantation should not be attempted. There are a few haptic configurations highlighted in the package insert that may require slightly different device management during delivery. The following animations were developed to provide an overview of the various haptic configurations and the instructions on how to proceed with delivery per package insert. Lenses with a straight, twisted, or open-looped leading haptic configuration can be delivered with device rotations using the following steps. First, place the nozzle tip into the incision up to the depth guard. Then, rotate the device clockwise to place the device in a bevel left or nozzle opening facing left orientation. When rotating, maintain adequate pressure of the depth guard against the cornea to ensure the nozzle tip remains inside the incision. Additionally, a second instrument can be used to maintain the eye position. Advance the plunger and focus on the leading haptic. Ensure it points to the left or slightly downward into the left and that it enters the capsular bag in its correct orientation. As the optic exits, rotate the device back counterclockwise to a slightly bevel right orientation or until the nozzle opening faces slightly right. This orientation ensures that the optic unfolds anterior side up within the capsular bag. The plunger should be advanced until the optic and haptic are clear of the nozzle opening. Depending on eye temperature and other factors, lenses with a straight, twisted, or open-looped leading haptic configuration may turn and point to the right after exiting the nozzle and have an S-shaped configuration. In this case, proceed with device rotations as described previously, but allow more of the optic to exit the nozzle before placing the leading haptic in the capsular bag. First, place the nozzle tip into the incision up to the depth guard. Then, rotate the device clockwise to place the device in a bevel left or nozzle opening facing left orientation. Advance the plunger and focus on the leading haptic. Allow enough of the optic to exit the nozzle for the leading haptic to rotate back to the left. Then, place the leading haptic in the capsular bag in its correct orientation. As the optic exits, rotate the device back counterclockwise to a slightly bevel right orientation or until the nozzle opening faces slightly right. This orientation ensures the optic unfolds anterior side up within the capsular bag. In both images, the leading haptics are tucked, so no device rotation is required to place the lens into the capsular bag in the correct orientation. Notice the trailing haptic is either tucked or in a loosely looped but not straight configuration. In either case, with much of the trailing haptic alongside the plunger, this may require fully advancing the plunger in one smooth, continuous motion to ensure the entire trailing haptic clears the nozzle and the incision. 
do not advance the plunger too fast or lens damage may occur. It is recommended that delivery of the lens from the fill to line should take at least five seconds. This slightly open looped leading haptic configuration should require no device rotations to place it into the capsular bag in the correct orientation. This configuration also shows a fully tucked trailing haptic with minimal trailing haptic alongside the plunger, which should not typically require fully advancing the plunger. In summary, these straight-twisted, open-looped, or S-shaped leading haptic configurations are normal, and the IOL can be delivered by rotating the device as previously described. These tucked and slightly open looped leading haptics are normal leading haptic configurations that do not typically require device rotations. Also notice when much of the trailing haptic is alongside the plunger, it may require fully advancing the plunger to ensure the entire trailing haptic clears the nozzle and the incision. This straight trailing haptic configuration cannot be delivered. Do not proceed with this lens implantation. In this rare case, contact your Alcon representative. Finally, please remember, take at least seven seconds to advance the lens to the fill two line and take at least five seconds to deliver the lens to avoid lens damage.